Okay, now I want to show you how to use one layer with more than one motion tween. And here's the example that we're going to complete. So we'll close this and we'll open our starting file. And let's just position the stage so that we can see the timeline and the stage somewhat together. And this is similar to what we've seen in other examples. And basically it has a square moving from left to right. And if we look at the properties for the tween, we see we have an ease in of 100 minus 100. And that gives us uh, shorter spans of our timeline frames to the left and longer ones to the right, giving us a faster effect on the right. Now let's take a look at what we are going to complete. I have it started over here on another window and I'll just drag it back in. And so basically we'll work with the tween we have which has this rectangle go from left to right and it's got an easing in of minus 100. And we'll duplicate that and have the rectangle and the new span go from right to left and we'll reverse the easing effect. So let's move this out of the way down here on my timeline I'll select the tween, motion tween span right mouse click on it and choose copy frames then on frame 31 this is an empty frame or unused frame we'll right mouse click and choose paste frames so basically we have the same tween repeating itself uh, from left to right And what we'll do with the second uh, span is we'll right mouse click over it and reverse the keyframes. And we can then see the effect of this. And then lastly, we'll select that second motion tween and we'll go up to the properties and change the ease in properties from minus 100 to ease out 100. And then we'll come back down here to the stage and we'll take a look at that again. And we'll use test movie to see what it will look like when it's published. That's under menu choice control and then test movie or you can use your shortcut key. And there's our finished animation. And it shows the effect that we had in the one that we started with. And here's the one that we started with. Now I want to review what happened on the stage and in the library. So let's first take a look at our library. When we opened up the starting file, there was already a movie clip symbol that has a rectangle in it, which is a shape. So that was done before we got started. We go over to the properties panel and we select one of the keyframes for the motion tween. We'll go to the first motion tween and select the first keyframe and then we'll select the object on stage. We come back to properties we can see that that keyframe has in it a square, the instance of the square movie clip. Back down to our timeline and click the first keyframe of the second motion tween and then click on stage on the object and again we can see that also is the same movie clip. So we make changes to that movie clip and we'll do in future lessons and sessions it will change the object on stage each time. All right, on stage we have four keyframes. Two of them are object keyframes. Those are the ones with a little circle, filled in circle. And then we have property keyframes which just indicate changes to the object keyframe that you see on the left. Okay, so that pretty much concludes this. So we can save this and we'll give it another name. That way we can restart it again if we want to try this one more time. Okay, that concludes this little exercise and now we saw how we can use multiple motion tweens on the same layer. We also saw how we copy frames on the timeline. So be sure you use that menu choice, copy frames and paste frames when you're trying to copy frames on the timeline.